guys thanks for watching my name is Maddie if you don't know me um hey I'm Maddie um I have new videos every Tuesday and Friday so be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already but for today's video I wanted to talk to you guys about hair care products because doing what I do with like Instagram and YouTube and all of that I'm blessed to be sent a lot of products from brands to like test out and see if I like see if I want to work with them or not um this video is not sponsored or anything but I just am sent a lot of like products to try and about six months ago I was sent um, two packages like right at the same time of two different hair care brands and one of them is like a little bit more on the expensive side and one of them is literally like dirt cheap and I love them both I've been using them for like six months like I said and so I just wanted to make this video to talk about those brands and then some other brands that I like and I kind of just wanted to go through all the products that I use on my hair because I feel like I have like a wide range of price points for these things like I said that one brand is dirt cheap some of the other stuff is more expensive so I kind of just wanted to like show you where I think you can splurge for your hair and where I think you could definitely save more money with your hair and with all that being said just know that like everyone's hair is different so things that work well for my hair might work different for yours just for reference my hair type I color my hair so it's pretty damaged and I curl it a lot so I'm always looking for hydrating products um, color safe products and protectant stuff to protect it from the heat and then I also have extensions so with extensions you can't have like sulfates or parabens so all of these products are like um, sulfate and paraben free so just know that you know these things work awesome for me and I've been loving them but definitely you know do your own research for your hair type and figure out what works best for you so all that being said let's get into it okay so I'm gonna start with shampoo and this is the brand that I've been saying is super cheap super affordable it's called Eva NYC and they sell this at forever 21 that's where I saw it first and I also saw that they sell it at anthro which is like forever 21 and anthro are very different but they're sold at both of them each bottle is like seven dollars I want to say I'm gonna put the price of each product on the screen so you guys can see for sure but they're so so affordable and I've been using the main magic 10-in-1 shampoo and conditioner and it's made with Caravis I don't really know what that is and argon oil their products are free of sulfates and parabens and all that stuff which is exactly what I need with cheaper brands they hardly ever have products that are free of parabens and sulfates a lot of times it'll say like natural and I'll try and make it look natural but if you look at the ingredients there's still all that bad stuff in there it's not really natural and so I've been loving this stuff it smells so good it makes your hair really smooth really soft it detangles because my hair also gets really tangled and yeah so like so so affordable I definitely recommend trying this because even if you don't like it you're literally only spending like $14 for shampoo and conditioner which is nothing compared to most brands and then the other shampoo and conditioner that I really like is from Moroccan Oil. I just threw them away, so I don't have the bottles to show you, but I'll just put a picture on the screen. I got those the same time that I got these in the mail, and Moroccan Oil is amazing. If you guys have never tried their stuff, it's really high quality. And their shampoos and conditioners are a little bit more expensive, but kind of like this like they smell great so good and the conditioner definitely really detangles my hair I would say the Moroccan oil detangles it a little bit better than the Eva NYC but it's like pretty close so what I've been doing is washing my hair with the Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner then the next wash I'd be doing the Eva NYC and then the next one after that I do Moroccan oil so I just switch off just to make the Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner last a little bit longer so if you have a pricier shampoo and conditioner that you really like and you use a lot of having um, this stuff to just cycle through to elongate my Moroccan oil stuff it's really really helpful and then I also use both of their hair masks so the Eva NYC this is the therapy session hair mask it's made with the same Caravis protein and argan oil and then this is the Moroccan oil hydrating mask and I love both of these so same with the shampoo and conditioner I'll just rotate back and forth with these two because they're both so so good I do like this just a tiny bit better but like honestly for the price this is so amazing you guys it's awesome for detangling my hair I use the it's a 10 miracle leave even plus keratin this is 120% worth the splurge I like I said I have really tangled hair like 
No joke, you guys. One time I had to buy a horse tail tangle remover, like a remover that cowboys use for their horses to get out the mats in their tails. It's literally called cowboy magic, I'm pretty sure, because I I get like really bad knots right back here in my hair, and I don't really get them as much anymore because I've been really treating my hair and keeping it moisturized, but um, this stuff works the best. Like. I've tried everything in the books and this is the best like so so worth it they have small bottles if you just want to test it out or they have big bottles too and then the next product that I cannot recommend enough is the Moroccan oil um, treatment and this is basically a hair oil and whenever I say that I use hair oil I always get the reaction like oh doesn't it make your hair oily which would make sense like I don't blame people for thinking that but no it doesn't especially if you have dry hair like me and my hair is oil prone like I I use dry shampoo all the time because my hair gets really oily but what hair oil does you don't like put it in your roots you put it like three pumps in the palms of your hands and then massage it from like the mid length of your hair down and I put three pumps of this and then one pump of this in my hair every morning and every night and if I don't do it I could see the difference so much like my hair gets so much drier um, it's just like not easy to do it gets tangled and whenever I use this it's so smooth it's so soft and it's just like it works miracles on hair the only reason that I add the coconut milk in one is just to prolong this one kind of like what I do with my shampoo and stuff because it is a little bit pricier and like I said I use it every morning and night this is made with coconut milk coconut oil and egg white protein so this is like really good for your hair too but I feel like once you go to the Moroccan oil you like can't go back so um, if you're wanting to splurge 120% get the Moroccan oil treatment and if you're wanting to save try this out and see if you like it and then if you are like what the oil does to your hair I would suggest getting this because it's just it is my biggest hair tip ever like I can't live without hair oil and then next for dry shampoo I use the Batisse dry shampoo this stuff is so good I keep saying that like I've tried a lot of things and I don't want to sound like an expert because I'm not but like I have honestly tried so many products over the years you guys and like this roundup is like my go-to stuff so I'm just saying that I've tried a lot this is the best for me at least a lot of dry shampoos when I spray them in my hair my hair gets really stiff and like it feels weird like I could tell that there's dry shampoo in it but this doesn't change the texture at all it's awesome and and it blends in really good it smells good they have one for brown haired girls too if you guys have brown hair normally it's $13 which is kind of a lot but as you could see on the tag I always get mine at TJ Maxx for $8.99 so if you have a TJ Maxx by you or a Marshalls I would just recommend going there and getting it on sale because they always have it like I'll go and stock up on like four bottles at a time hey guys current Maddie here sorry to interrupt your video but I'm editing it right now and I realized I forgot to mention my heat protectant spray and I don't know how I forgot about it because I use heat protectant spray every day but I have these three that I like so I'm gonna go from most expensive to least it's the Bumble and Bumble BB Glow Thermal Protection Mist with Honey Protective Complex and then the Moroccan Oil Protect and Prevent Spray and this one like the difference between these two is this one's made with honey and then this one is also specifically for color treated hair there's like a $2 difference between these two but they're both really awesome and they're specifically for like protecting your hair from heat which I like so I like recommend both of these honestly and then the last one is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer and this is awesome I use this even when I use the other ones because this is technically like a 10 in 1 thing so let me see it says it detangles reduces frizz strengthens softens cuts drying time adds shine and nourishes smooths and protects against thermal and uv damage so this really does like it does the most you know what i'm saying like it does so much so if you're wanting to like save and you don't want to buy an expensive heat protectant spray you can definitely buy this one that has heat protectant in it and then it also does a lot of other stuff for your hair so yes these three i really really like them i use this one and then one of these two i don't really have like a reason why i switch off i just like both so i just use both and yeah now back to the video next for hairspray i use the mark anthony 
Anthony Bye Bye Frizz Silicone Free Hairspray. And I love this one because it doesn't have sulfates or parabens, which is really hard to find with like affordable hairsprays. It does a great job. It has a great hold and I love it. I also have the Big and Sexy Hair Hairspray, the one in the red bottle. That one is a little bit more pricey and I only use it for times where I like don't want my hair to move, where I'm like, I need my hair to be stiff as a rock. Like if I'm going to a wedding or like something where I just have like a, a pretty hairstyle that I want to stay in place. If you're wanting to save with hairspray, I love this so good. And if you're wanting to splurge and you don't want your hair to move, then the other one, but this one's awesome. And then last for hair products, I have my curling iron and my flat iron. They're from T3 Micro. I've talked about them all the time. You guys know that I love them. I have a hair tutorial of how I curl my everyday curls with them. It, I'll link it below for you guys. Their products are a little bit pricier, but in my opinion, 100% worth the splurge. Because in high school, I didn't use these things. I use like Conair and stuff like that. And I think that's what really damaged my hair and that's what I'm still trying to repair the damage from like years later. But these products have made such a difference because I do my hair a lot. And so um, just having the best products that are like heat friendly for my hair, if that makes sense. I do have a discount code with them. It's good through December of 2019. If you're wanting to splurge, definitely go with these. They're best for your hair. They do your hair so well. And yeah, I just can't recommend them enough. So, and so that is all of my products. I hope that you guys had some new products that you saw and want to try. I will link them all in the description. And I hope that you guys like this video. If you liked it, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on the bell. And feel free to comment if there's anything that you guys want to see on this channel. Bye, guys.